It's five o'clock, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for... Craig and Ryland's Magic Review Show. He's Ryland. I'm Craig. No. <laughs> I knew that I could mess you up. I knew I could mess you up. I'm sorry. I'm Craig. I'm <laughs> And welcome to episode 22 of Craig and Ryland's Magic Review. We've got four items. And after the last week's show, there were some absolutely terrible tricks, weren't there? Yeah. Absolutely terrible. But this week, everything is really good. Uh, four awesome items that I absolutely love. He absolutely loves. Uh, and don't forget, we're going to perform everything that we review. And we're going to start off... Uh, with one of the most talked about items at the moment in the magic community, a brand new wallet by Brent Braun. So let's get into that right now. So the first item we have is FPS wallet by Brent Braun. Now, can you remember what Brent Braun did on the show recently? Mm. We reviewed something of his. It was the packet trick and it was the aces and the backs changed colour one oh. at a time. And one ended up with a rip in the corner. Do you remember? It was called oh. Definitely Not Marked. Really oh, great yeah. trick. Well, that's Brent Braun. He, he's brought some great stuff out over the years. This is his wallet. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is awesome. A couple of weeks ago on the Q&A, somebody asked me what was the best wallet. And I, I talked about the JOL wallets and how amazing they are. This is going to be my new everyday wallet. I love this. And I'm going to tell you why I love this. But first of all... Can I perform a routine for you out of the download? I mean, it's such a big download. Yeah. But can I perform? This is my take on one of the routines that Brent does. So I'm going to perform this for you now. Is that all right? Yeah. So we'll put this away. Right? I know that you love money, don't you? Yeah. Would you like a chance to win some money from your dad? Yeah. I have in my wallet here £20. Would you like a chance to win £20? Yeah. Then I'm going to give you a chance to win £20, my friend. The idea is very simple. I would like you to take a card from this deck. Now, you can have any card you want to. I'm completely indifferent to the choice you're about to make. But I would like you to pick a number card, not a picture card. Any card with a number of them would be good. Mm -hmm. it, because that way, when you write your name on it, it'll show up. Okay? Um, you got one I'm not looking? Quickly. Yeah. Okay, show the camera. Don't show me. And then, I know you, so just write your name right once on the card. Nice big letters. When you've done that, I, I, again, I'm not looking. When you've done that, let me know. Take your time and get paid by the hour. Am I getting paid for this? Probably not. Are we good? Yeah. Cool. Show everyone the car. Are we good? Yeah. Cool. And uh, don't get ink on my pad. Your sister's already done that. Yeah, exactly. So, cool stuff. Don't let me see the card. We're going to put the card back in the deck. Just say stop anytime you want. Put the card back there. Thank you. And guys, just in case you missed it at home, let me give you uh, one last look at it. There it is. Is that the card, yeah? Yeah. So the idea is I want you to look at where that card goes. Now, right now, it's about halfway down. I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you. I'm going to put it a little bit further towards the bottom of the deck. Can you see that? Yeah. It's near the bottom. It's not at the bottom, but it's maybe in the top bottom 20. Okay? Yeah. This is how you win your £20, my friend. I'm going to spread the deck out on the table. And you have to look for your card in the spread. I have to look for your card in the spread. If I find your card before you do, then I keep the £20. If you find your card first, then you get the £20. Is that fair? Yeah. So I'm going to spread it out now. Go for it, right? We're looking for uh, the card. Have a look. You've got an advantage because you know what the card is. Mm. Have you seen it yet? What's the name of the card? Uh, Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Are you sure? Yeah. There's an Ace of Clubs there. Ace of Hearts here. There's an Ace of Spades. Are you sure? It's got to be. Hang on. Let me help you. It's got to be there somewhere. It looks like you've lost, but let's see if we can find... Ah, do you know where it's gone? Do you know why? Why? Because I did something sneaky. You see, when you weren't looking, what I did is I took the card, made it invisible, threw it up in the air, did six somersaults invisibly, I counted, and right there underneath the wallet, there's one card and there one is. card only. There it is, the Ace of Spades. Now, you lost because I knew where it was and you didn't, but would you like to know how that trick works? Yeah. It's really simple. Really, really simple. Here's how it works. Stop spinning the table. Your hands down by your side. Stop spinning the table. This is how it works. It's really simple. All you do when you're not looking, I just take the ace of spades. And when you're not looking, I just put the wallet on top of it. I just put the wallet on top of the ace of spades when you're not looking. That's how it works. Now, I know you think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Look, I'll show you what it looks like. See, what you have to do is, first of all, put the card underneath the hand like that. And then you use your thumb to flick it underneath the wallet. In full speed, it looks like this. Watch, you just put it here. 
and you flick and it's gone. You see, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. And the reason it's not any of those places is because now underneath the wallet, one card, one card only, turn it over, have a look, could it be? Is it? Yes, it is, there's the Ace of Spades. Now look, I'll do it one last time. Do you see the Ace of Spades? Yeah. Don't blink, it happens on three. One, two, three, did you see it go? Yeah. No, not the Ace of Spades, the whole pack. Now the whole deck's gone, except for the Ace of Spades. Do that again. Check, do it again, check that underneath the, is that cool? Is that pretty cool? Now, I'm going to do it one last time under test conditions. And what I mean by that is I'm going to put the card right here underneath the wallet one last time, but you will not see it go. Okay? Yeah. You will not see it go. Now, look, I'm going to put the wallet there. Cover your hand up over it. Put your hand over it. Put your other hand on top. So I'm going to get it under there now. Don't push down too hard. We're spinning the table. Watch. I'm going to get the card underneath the wallet. Now, I'm going to do the flicky thing. So first of all, I have to put it under my hand, then flick it like that. See, it's not there, 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 it's not there. It's gone. Lift up your hand. If it was under the wallet there, would that be good? Have a look. <laughs> Maybe I'm not that good. But you see, as a magician, I have to do a big finish. I've already got it under the wallet three times, so I have to go one step further, which is why now inside the wallet, check this out, right there, inside the wallet, there's one card. Let me just take that out. You're not going to believe this. Let me just take it out. It's actually in there. Look at this. One card. One card only. Take it out yourself. It can't be. Is it? It is your card with your name on it. Boom. So that's that's the FPS wallet. I absolutely, and I cannot stress this enough, I absolutely love this. The routine that I just did there, there's so many different ways of loading this wallet. And, and one of the little bonus ways that Brent talks about is the ability to load a card under the wallet whilst it's on the table in full view of the audience with no palming. And that's what I'm doing in this routine. Now, now Brent does it as a one-phase routine. He just literally... Um, a two-phase routine. So he just gets the card under the wallet and then he gets it into the wallet. I took my uh, card in the box routine, which is based on James Brown's card in the box routine uh, that I put on Parlour, and I kind of adapted that to this routine and it works brilliantly. And I know that I'm going to be doing this forever because that is the, I just love the way that you can load the card into the wallet blatantly in front of the audience. It's just amazing. Um, so yeah, so first of all, Pro, it's a very thin wallet. It is a very, very, very thin wallet. It's perfect for carrying around as an everyday wallet. It's an instant reset. It's ready to go anytime. And not only is it an instant reset, it's an instant reset in every scenario. So you can load this in, you can load this from Palm like a normal wallet. It's actually got two different slides to make it easy for you. You can have it in your trouser pocket. It fits your trouser pocket perfectly, your jeans pocket, your back pocket. It comes with a, um, uh, it comes with a bill clip. So uh, it comes with a, a sort of a money clip like this, and you can use the money clip to actually uh, do different loads with it as well. Um, it, it loads, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a, a secret thing built into it where you can show that the wallet's empty and you can literally just snap your fingers and have a card appear in there. What, what do you think of this? I think it's very good. It's, it's great, mate. It really is. It really is so good. Have you got any questions for me about it? No. No questions? Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've got a question. Yeah. What's the question? Is it easy? Good question. So first of all, um... It is easy. It's, yeah, it is. I mean, Brett talks really, he goes really in depth about how to use this wallet. I mean, there's like, it's probably about an hour and a half of instruction, maybe even two hours all in all, with six or seven different routines. Um, and and some of the, that, that, that thing that I was doing with the, uh, if you just did that as a load on the table, that is so easy. It's just, it's just a bit ballsy, but it's really, really easy. The car, the load into the wallet from the pocket is easy, but you need to be able to palm a card. Um, all of the loads when the wallet's in the pocket, you need to be able to palm a card, which obviously is no good for you because your hands are a bit too small at the moment. But uh, yeah, a little bit too small at the moment. But if you can palm a card, yeah, it's fairly easy. Um, I mean, it looks just like a normal wallet with your credit card in there and your money in there. It's just really good. You got any other questions? Mm, what are the angles like? That's a good question as well. You're getting good at this. Uh, absolutely angle proof, completely angle proof. If you're doing this thing on the table, again, the, the routine that I did is angle proof. It's just 
you need a table. You don't even need a, a close-up pad. You don't need a close-up pad or any sort of pad. It can be done on any surface, but you would need a table. I've actually played around with doing this on someone's hand, um, and it works really well. I've been playing around with that. That works really well. Uh, in terms of the angles in the pocket and everything, it's completely angle-proof. Once it's loaded in, the beautiful thing about it is it's one second load. When it's loaded in, um, it's, it's loaded in for good. And this is kind of like an ID compartment here. This is designed to hold an ID, uh, an ID card or a driving license or something. But it's also the load mechanism, which is great because it's like, it literally hidden in full view. It's great. So yeah, no angles. And I'll tell you the best thing about this whole thing. The download is so good. He goes into he he does a version of Greg Wilson's driver's license trick. I can't remember the name of it, um, but he he put it in the Art of Astonishment with Paul Harris, and uh, he's got a version of that using this wallet, which is killer using a borrowed driver's license. So yeah, um, lots of different routines. But the nice thing is, it's designed to fit. You know, some of these magic wallets are massive and they're like, what does it look like? This looks like a normal wallet. You put it in your pocket. It's an instant reset. You don't need a table. There's lots of different ways of loading it. There's lots of different routines you can do with it. It's anytime, anywhere. And you can use it as your own wallet. You can put your money in there. You can put your cards in there. And it is going to be my regular everyday wallet. This is going to be the wallet that I carry around with me as my regular wallet. I absolutely have fallen in love with this. Any other questions? Mm, no. No? Okay. Um, what would you give it? You've seen the download with me. You've watched it. I know that you can't do the palm thing, but you can do the table thing. Uh, what do you think of it? Mm, very good. Okay, tell them, not me. It was great. So what are you giving it? 100. You're giving it 100%? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with that as well. I'm going to give it 100%. I Wonder. love this. I love this. You never do that. I know, but I'm doing it with this one because I absolutely love it. It gets 100%. I'm going to be using this. This can is I my everyday wallet. Can I then? Why do you always do this? Whatever, 100, 120. You love it. I love it. We both think it's amazing. I'm going to use this. Uh, it's highly recommended. If you're looking for the ultimate, and I, 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 you know, I genuinely mean this. I think this is the ultimate card to wallet. This is the one you want to go for. This is absolutely brilliant. Okay, now the second review is Holy Blank by Caleb Wiles. Now, we don't always do the latest products in these shows. What I like to do and what Ryan likes to do is take classics of magic that you guys might not have seen before and, uh, and kind of review that. And this is a, an example of that. This was a few years old now, um, but I think it's flown under everyone's radar. I think a lot of newer people to magic don't know about this. I have been performing this for years. I taught it you recently, and you were like, let's do it on the review show, weren't you? I mean, this is yeah. a great trick. It's called Holy Blank. I'm going to get Ryland to perform it, and then we'll talk about why it's so good. Go. Daddy? Yo. Uh, I've got a pack of cards. <laughs> really? I've never heard you say that before. <laughs> Daddy, I've got a pack of cards. I'll be on your tombstone. Here lies Ryland. Daddy, I've got a pack of cards. Anyway, go on. <laughs> get on with it. Now, I'm going to take the cards out of the box. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a random card out the deck, okay? Yeah. I'm going to go this one here. Okay. That one. That's your random card? Yeah, that's my random card. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay? Yeah. We're going to put... Now, I want you to name a card. Any card? Yeah. Four of hearts. The four of hearts. The four of hearts. Okay. Now, so I've got a bunch of cards. Okay. Uh, so obviously, you know, you can see that that's the, um, you can see that that's the four of clubs there. No, no, dude, dude, it's, they're blank. No, they're not. What do you mean, no, they're not? They're not. They're blank. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. They are blank. No, they're not. You're an idiot. <laughs> they're not. They're, they're blank. You must not have a good enough imagination. I, my imagination I is fine. I can see them totally. Oh, can you? Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me that's the four of clubs? That is the four of clubs. Okay. Well, that wasn't my card. Yeah, I well, know. And that is a, and this one here is the uh, two of hearts. No, it's not, dude. It's blank. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay, whatever. Now, this one is a joker. Oh, yeah, I can see it's a joker. <laughs> no, you can't. No, I can't. No, you're right. It's blank. <laughs> but I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Shut up. Now, we're going to look for the other joker. Ooh, you don't see that every day. You don't usually see two jokers together, do two you? Two jokers? No, I mean two aces together. They're two aces? No, they're not. They're blank. They're two aces. Okay, they're aces. Let's try and find this joker. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, 
Here it is, here it is. Okay, right, let's just go with it. You've got two jokers, right. Okay, we're going to put the deck there. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll put it here for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so, do you want to know the reason I've put the two jokers here? You mean the two blank cards? Why? No, two jokers. Okay. Just remove that card because I swear I'm not going to touch it. Okay, yeah, you did say you weren't going to touch the card. Okay, so there it is. Yeah? Right, now, the reason I've got the jokers is because I'm not going to touch the card. You know? Okay? Yeah? So here it is. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Watch what? This. That black card, the random card that I actually took out. That card that I took out is the, is the four of hearts. You've got the two jokers and you've got a completely and totally blank deck. <laughs> for you, but not for me. That was a great performance, dude. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love seeing other people perform that trick because that's one of my favourite tricks. Um, so, well, you performed it. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I Tell love them, it. not me. I love everything about it. Tell me why. Why do you love everything about it? Um, because uh, they don't even know what the card that you took out is. And then it just is actually the four of hearts. And then, 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 uh, and then they're like, they're blank. They're, they're, they're not. That's not four clubs. They're So what happens if they pick a different card instead of the four of club, four of hearts? Uh, Did yes. you psychologically force me on the four of hearts, or can it be any card? No, it can be any card. You could have named the eight of clubs, which would have been easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been easier if it was the eight of clubs in all honesty. Um, don't know why I named that when I was practicing. When you when you taught me, I was like. I was like, I said clubs and you were like, well, that's super easy. <laughs> yeah, you were. That's right. Um, it's, you don't need a table. I mean, I know you've used the table here, but you don't really need a table to do this routine. It can be done walk around. Um, and I think what you said there is a very important point. When Ryland said you put the card down at the beginning, that's what makes this trick so strong. You put a card face down on the table at the very beginning... And only after you've put the card face down on the table do they name the card. You then go through this whole situation where you're showing the cards are blank and you're telling people, look at all these blank cards, look, that's the ace of cards, whatever it is. And you're showing all these blank cards and then you're in a situation where you've got these jokers and you turn over their card and it is the card that they've... It is so strong. Now, you and I had a bit of an argument about this, didn't yeah. we? Do you want to tell them what you thought? What You, you were like, I'm not going to give this 100%. I was going to give it 99. 99. And why did you... What, why were you not going to give it 100%? Because it's probably just... I've never performed it to a live audience, but you have, so, and you haven't told me. But it's just—it feels like the sort of thing that someone would like to examine. So, but you can't examine it. And so, he is right. He is right. No, you are. You are right. You are right. You are right. You can't examine it, but you—you you are also right in that I have performed this for about three years in the trenches, in the real world, and I have never had anyone examine it. And one of the, well, want to examine it. And one of the reasons is. The structure of the routine, and what I mean by that is, you're being so... Wait, i got an idea. Why don't you start off with a normal deck that they get to examine for four uh, at the start, and then you do a deck switch for a different uh, card trick at a finale? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really clever thinking. And that's actually how I was going to... I was going to literally make that point, but you've kind of got there. For, you, you've just stolen my thunder, dude. But yeah, I was going to say, when I do this trick, I have it as... Uh, I switch the deck here. So I use a regular deck of cards. I'll do something like Ambitious Card. So and then I'll say, let me do one more thing. I'll switch the deck. And then I'll go into this routine. So they've been using the deck throughout the whole of the performance. So they think that the cards are normal. There's no reason why they're not. And then you've got this whole situation where the cards are examined. At the, at the, uh, the cards are a blank at the end. But because of how you've shown these cards. And don't forget the display. You know, you're constantly showing backs and fronts of all of the cards. There's no roughing fluid. There's no rough and smooth. It looks like you're being completely clean. Nobody's ever wanted to examine it. And and I've done stuff like Blizzard, Dean Gill's Blizzard, where you can, can examine the card. Oh, you want to go? You want to go up to hundred yeah. percent, do you? 
So you're getting 100% from the kid magician. This is an incredible routine. It's not, it, as I say, here's my issue with a lot of magicians these days. They look for the shiny new item that's just been released through Murphy's, while some of the older stuff that's been around for a long while, that's just as good. And this is one of the strongest routines that you're ever going to find with a blank deck of cards. And that comes from me, who released the DVD called Blank. It is incredibly strong. Wait, did you make that? No, this is me. It's Kelly Wills and oh. Vanishing Egg. But it's incredibly strong. But you made some blank things. Yeah, but a DVD out called Blank. Did you not know? No. Your dad's clever, you did know. Did you ever make a book? I did e-books. I've never actually written an actual book. You think I should? Yeah. Okay, I'll consider it. <laughs> right. Um, so anyway, yes. I don't even know what I was talking about then. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I, I, I'm giving this 100%. So I've used this for years. And it always works. It's a real working routine. Uh, I, I think it's as strong as, if not stronger than the Invisible Deck. So there you go. That's how much I love it. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. It's available still from Vanishing Ink, Penguin Magic, Alakazam, anywhere you want to. It's available everywhere. Uh, but there you go. 100% from me and him. Highly recommended. Holy blank. Right, so review number three, we have The Wallet by Nicholas Lawrence. I love, I love Nicholas Lawrence. <laughs> I can't say his name right. You love Nicholas Lawrence. Yeah. He loves you so much, Nicholas, no, he can't say your name. Didn't, didn't he do the vanishing card case? Yes, but we're not talking about that because that's going to be on a future review show. But yes, yes, he did do that. Shh. Yeah, but that's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, he's done a load of different stuff. Have you ever seen the thing with his finger? No. That's sick. I'll show you that later on after the review show, okay? But he, does he chop it off? He does something really disgusting with it. He makes it disappear. He pulls his finger off and puts it back on again. <laughs> I'm not joking. He literally shows his hand, he pulls his finger off and he puts it back on again. It's weird. Anyway, Nicholas Lawrence. Right, okay, so wallet. This is a new item by Nicholas, an abstract effects, and it's um, designed to look a bit like a minimalistic wallet. So it's designed to look like one of those wallets that are kind of in the rage now if you're fashionable. Obviously, I'm not fashionable. Uh, but the whole idea is that you have a credit card on there, you can have money kind of inside the wallet. And it's designed to look just like a wallet you carry around with you that yeah. takes up very little pocket space. Um, I'm going to perform one of the routines off there, and then we'll talk about it. How's that sound, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, I have inside here uh, a coin, which you can look at. That's a 50p. And, and one of the cool things about being a magician, one of the super awesome things about being a magician is the different gadgets that you can get. Sometimes I feel like James Bond. And this is one of these gadgets. It looks like a normal wallet. I'm going to put the 50p inside there. Is that fair, right? Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to put that there. Now I want you to watch. All I have to do is snap. And when I snap, do you know what happens? What? You're not going to believe this. Check this out. What actually happens is, you, you know like when you've been to a gym or something like that, and you yeah. need change for the locker, and you've yeah. got no change? Yeah. Well, what this wallet will do, it will automatically change money for you. So if I put Wait, a thing... so can, don't you want, can you turn it into a pound? I could do, but what I've done here is I've turned it into a whole bunch of 10 P's. So if I was going to the gym, I've got, you know, 50p. I've just split that 50p down into 10p's, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to go further. Would you like to see me go further? Yeah. You would. Because this wallet does that, but it also does something else. Now, I'm going to put the coins back in the wallet. Count them with me. That's one. one that two. Two. That three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Is that fair? Yeah. Good. Now, here's the thing. Um, I need my uh, credit card. Oh. Did you put it up there? Oh, did I? Oh, thank you. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yes, I did. Okay, so we're going to show you what else this wallet will do. Check this out. Look, I'm going to put the credit card in there. I can actually withdraw money from my bank account using How this wallet. In, there? in my in my account. I don't know. Mommy won't let me check. But what I can do is I can put my pin code in here. Hang on, I won't. Let you, don't want you to see. There you go. I can put my pin code in here, and now instead of that fifty p. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Check this out. This is so awesome. Instead of the 50p, check it out. Look what's inside there. Oh, let me have that and let me keep it. Show everyone. Go on, pass it here. Open it up. Show everyone. Not I've took £20 out of my account. And you're using... not having it. I'm not? No, you're not. Mine. Spoken like a true magician. <laughs> Daylight robbery. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's that's one of the routines off the, uh, off the wallet. Um, download it. Wait, can't you do a peeping with that? And you can, so if they had like a signed uh, credit card, business card, 
business card and they signed it you could like see what it is that was your favorite part of the download yeah, wasn't it yeah so much things you can do with it <laughs> there's so much things that's one of the reasons he loves it he absolutely loves it there's a lot you can do with it and he is right you can do a pink wallet it's uh just in flum idea but what you can do and imagine this for a second you can have a, a business card that somebody's wrote some information down on whatever information you want them to write and you ask them to put it there inside the wallet so it's sticking out and you show it and it's sticking out so they can see it the whole time and in that action and you can show it all the way around on all sides and in the action of doing that you peaked the information that the people have wrote down on the business card which is a really cool idea this also means that you can do out to lunch so if you've got any out to lunch ideas you can do out to lunch with this and have your business cards in there which is a cool idea the the, the routine that everyone's talking about is the one where you've got like a 20 pound note and a, and a credit card inside the wallet you put the note in your pocket you have the credit card sticking out and just by flicking it or shaking it they change places and you can make them change back again you are 100 percent right ryland there is so much that you can do with this wallet my favorite routine is the coin thing because i really like the idea ever since i saw dr sour do like a uh, a routine where a dollar changed into four quarters i've always loved that plot so taking a 50p putting it in the wallet having it very hands off and it changes into 10 p's and then you do it again and it changes into a note i really love that I, I could see myself doing that and the nice thing about that routine is it's like a 10 second reset and it's ready to go again um, but you can literally flip between one routine and another the, the the downloads presented by the other brothers i know you love the other brothers as well and Nicholas Lawrence, and Nicholas goes through a couple of ideas, the other brother gets to go through a couple of ideas. You know what, I didn't know whether I'd like this or not, but I absolutely love it, I think it's great. It's very different to the other wallet that we looked at, the FPS wallet, it's very, very different. That's designed more of a card, um, you know, for, for playing cards and for stuff with cards and as a, you know, to replace the cards wallet. Well, this has got so many other applications. You wouldn't use this for playing cards. Well, you could do. Oh yeah, one other thing that Daryl from the other brothers talks about is doing a mystery card with this. So you can have a folded up card in full view and you can have that there sticking out of the wallet in full view. And what you can do is you can have a card picked, signed, and then when you take that folded up card out, it's actually their card. Very cool. Yeah, you're right. You are absolutely right. There's so much you can do with this. What are you going to give it? What do you think of it? 100. He's given it 100%. And you know what? I'm giving it 90%. I really like this. Uh, the, the, the nice thing about these two wallets is they don't take up any space. I can literally have these in my trouser pocket, my jeans pocket. I can put both of these in here and I'm ready to go. And I can, I've got like probably, if I just carry a pack of cards and these two wallets, um, I'm set. Uh, and some business cards to go with this. I'm set for like a 25 minute act. I absolutely love this. 90% from me, 100% from the kid magician. Well done, Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Go and say, Mr. Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. Yes, not Mr. Lawrence. Well done. Uh, it's 100% from him. It's 90% from me. It's really good. Okay, so the final review is Voodoo 2.0 by Nate Kranzo. I don't know. That's a new name to me. I don't know who Nate Kranzo is. You don't know Nate Kranzo? Yeah. Actually, no, I don't think you've, any, you've seen any of Nate's stuff. Nate mm. Kranzo is an amazing magician. You love some of his stuff. Hey, he's got a routine out that he bought out years ago called Box Monster where like it's a rising card while the spectator holds the deck. It's absolutely incredible. Um, this actual routine that I'm going to do is a download. And the reason I wanted to do this is after last week's terrible download. Do you remember that awful download from last week? Yeah. I wanted to show you an example of a download that's awesome. Now, this routine, it's called Voodoo 2.0. It's available as a download through Penguin Magic. Um, and I, I, this was originally a version of this. It was originally published on um, uh, out, outside the box that Nate bought out years and years and years ago. And, uh, and then he um, uh, has recently released this particular trick as a, uh, as a download. So I wanna show you the trick. You've never seen it, you don't know what it is. I wanna show it to you and you can tell me what you think. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Sound good? Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna use a pack of playing cards for this. And there's 52 cards, right? This is for the workers out there. This is a shuffle deck in use anytime, anywhere. You don't need a full deck. You can get into this at any point in the show that you want to. Ryan, what I want you to do is grab a card. You can take a number card for me uh, because then you can write your name and it'll show up. Show the camera, don't show me. I cheat. 
And then when you've done that, I'm gonna give you a pen. I want to write your name on the face of the card. And what I want you to do is I want to write Rye, R-Y, and you'll see why in a bit, but I want to write Rye. Cool? Are we done? Are we done? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna put the, uh, the pen over here. Cool, and just do me a favor, I just say stop. Stop. Put the card back down. I'm gonna leave the card, I don't know, about halfway down, that's your choice. Do you want me to shuffle or leave them as they are? Your choice. Leave them as they are. Leave them as they are. New shuffling will take place. Now, Rye, what I want you to do is just, it's very important that you make sure this is not a gimmicked card box. Have a look inside the card box, make sure there's nothing weird in there, no secret trap doors, secret compartments or anything. Is the card box okay? Yeah, the card box is okay. The card box is okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna do. Cards go into the card box. Is that fair? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, do you know what voodoo is? No. Yes, you do. You just don't know that you do. Uh, do you remember Indiana Jones? Yeah. When Indiana Jones number two, the one with all of the, uh, where they were going around on mine carts, and that, that naughty boy had a doll of Indy, and he was pushing pins oh, yeah. in the doll, yeah, yeah. and then what happened to the doll actually... happened to Indy. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then they also did the same thing in Pirates of the Caribbean that we watched. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, on Captain Jack. Oh, and I remember uh, they did it in Doctor Who. Do you remember the witch film? Yes, they did. They did it in Doctor Who. So you know what voodoo is, right? Yeah. This is the same concept. Your card that you picked, you wrote Ryan on it, right? Yeah. We're going to create a, a voodoo doll of your card. The, well, this is my business card, but what I'm going to do, you wrote Rye, right? Yeah. I'm going to write Rye on there as well. There we go. Do you see the Rye? Yeah, Rye. You see Rye, good. Yeah, just flirt a bit because it's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, this is what we're going to do. I want you to watch. I'm going to fold this up. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm going to fold it up like this. Fold it up. So this is like the voodoo doll. So whatever I do to this happens to your card. So hold your hand out for me. Squeeze. So whatever happens, not too tight, but whatever happens to this happens to your card. So watch. What have I just done to that business card? What have I just done before I put it in your hand? Written right? Yeah, after that. Before I put it in your hand, I did something to it. What? I folded it up. Oh, yeah. And I said that whatever happens to this happens to your card. Oh. And I just folded up the business card. Oh. Watch this. Check it out. Look. Inside here now. Do you see a gap? Keep, keep squeezing. Yeah. Inside here, do you see a gap? Yeah. Check this out. Because now there's one card that's folded up in the middle of the deck. And that's your card. <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah. Now give me that back for a minute. We're going to see if we can go one step further. Because it works in reverse. Yeah. And what I mean by it working in reverse is whatever do we do to the card will happen to the business card. So hold your hand out for me. One hand. I appreciate enthusiasm. Squeeze tightly. And just leave your hand there. Leave your hand there. Don't move. Now, what do you want me to do with this card? Do you want me to uh, tear it? Should I burn it? Burn it! <laughs> okay, let me burn it. Here we go. Check this out. Watch. Now, watch. I'm not gonna, not gonna burn you, but if I just do that. Did you feel anything right there? No. Turn your hand over, have a look. And now let's look at the business card because now it is actually burned right there. We've managed to burn the corner off. You can see the scorch marks right there. One burnt business card and you can keep the business card and you can keep the rye and everything as a souvenir. And that is Voodoo 2.0. You've never seen that before, rye. What do you think of it? Face amazing. the front. What do you think of it? It's amazing. Now, be honest with me. Tell the truth. Don't lie. Were you fooled? Yeah. <laughs> you have any idea how it works? No. Right. Okay, cool. I'm so glad I Can fooled I you. Can I learn it? Huh? Can I learn it? I've got good news and bad news. What? Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, first the bad. The bad news is no, you can't learn it. Why? Why? Um, because... Tell me the good news then. The good news is... Um, by you not learning it, I'm not going to get in trouble with mum. 
Shut up. Now, seriously, because do you think that I should teach you a trick that uses a lighter? Yeah. No! Yeah! You're seven! Yeah! I'm not going to let you use a lighter. It's the same reason I'm not letting you touch flash paper, even though you want to. It's the same reason... What's flash I, paper again? It's that flavour that when you light it, it goes... It's the same reason why when we go to the illusion, when we go to the warehouse and practice the illusion show, I have to tell you to be very careful with the swords and the blades. I am not going to let you... I'm not going to let you... I'm not going to teach you a trick that involves lighting a card. Yes, However, you are. How many... How old are you now? Seven. How old uh, are you allowed to be when you use lighter? Sixteen. So what's the difference between seven and sixteen? Oh, great. How many years? Nine. Nine years. That's when you can start learning this trick in nine years' time. Until then, no. However, Shut for... Up. The way it's going to be. Now come over here and behave. However, I do want to tell anyone who's watching this, this trick is seriously cool. It is one of my go-to routines. It's epic. Can is I it? give it 100? Yeah, you can. Seriously, because it's a great yeah. way. When you, trust me can from you experience. Can the whole of that and the whole of that after? You, maybe. When you, um, yeah. when you give people this card that's burnt, and you give people this business card that's burnt and torn and all burnt up, it looks... It freaks people out, it really does, because it all happens in their hand. It's an instant reset. Nate talks on the DVD about having, basically, if you want to do this 20 times in one night, you just prep 20 business cards, and it takes literally a minute to prep 20 business cards, and then you just wrap an elastic band around them, that you're ready to go. I know, it's so cool. It is such because a great... It takes a second to do this. It's a shuffle deck in use, anytime, anywhere. No gimmicks. You can go into it at any point into your routine. You don't require a table. It's walk around. It uses fire, so it's really, you know, it really grabs people's attention. Um, and, and from a social distancing point of view, um, you don't need to give people stuff to hold on to if you don't want to. You don't even have to get them. You can get the card picked and you can write their name on it and stuff. It's, it's very adaptable. It is. It's one of my favourite Nate Cranzo tricks ever. Um, and I've been doing it for years and years and years when I first learned it off outside, inside, outside the box. And he's brought it out as a download and I highly recommend, it's like seven quid, something like that. I highly recommend everybody get it. It's one of the best working routines you'll ever see. Again, just like the Caleb Wiles routine, Holy Blank, that you performed. And I gave it 100% because I've been doing it for years and it's one of my mainstays of my act. This has to be given 100% as well for the same reason. So as I say, it's a newer item. It's only just come out as a download, but I've been doing it for years when I learned it off outside the box. Highly recommended, 100% from me, 100% from the Kid Magician, and I'm very sorry that you can't learn it for another nine years. And that another review show in a bag. <laughs> yes, it is another review show in the bag. Uh, some, great ro uh, some great routines this week. Uh, it's we'll... been 100, 100, 100, and 900. Well, to be exact, it was 100, 100, 900, 100. No, not 900, 90, 100. <laughs> you know what? You're my best friend in the world, but you talk rubbish sometimes. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you tune back in next Wednesday. We'll be back with another review show. Uh, and also make sure that you check out the stuff that we've got going on the rest of the week. Thursday, we've got magic stuff. Friday, we've got a ramp. Saturday, an honest trailer. Sunday, a Q&A. Monday, we have a marketing for magicians. Tuesday, we have an interview with a, a magician on Talk Magic. And then I'm back Before here. Me, when that's your favourite day on the YouTube channel, isn't it? Yes. Guys, we'll be back next week. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. He's Ryland.